Hello, hello. Yesterday I was reminded that I had in fact not made a Bismarck commentary in a long time. In fact, I probably haven't made one since 0 0.60 came out. And uh, I certainly haven't made one since they buffed, or well, since they buffed Adrenaline Rush. So it's about time that I actually make one. Uh, the game featured is a bit of a short one but it does give some idea of what the Bismarck is capable of. Now this is on my NA account, so this is actually not with a full 19 point captain, I only have a 16 point captain here, but that's not really a big deal, uh, because well the only, the only perk I don't have yet is superintendent, hence why I have 4 heals instead of 5. With the 19 point captain the last 3 points would go into superintendent for an additional heal. Now, for those that aren't aware, one of the changes that have been quite recently uh, changed is that Adrenaline Rush, which is of course a perk that I love on the Turpits and the Sharnhars, they are pretty much an integral part of my Berserker build. Uh, Adrenaline Rush now affects secondaries as well, meaning the lower HP you go, the faster your secondaries also reload. So obviously, with that sort of change, um, I wanted desperately for my Bismarck, so that has been integrated as part of the build. In fact, uh, I have given up manual AA on my Bismarck, I used it for a long time, but I have given it up. And instead I use basic firing training, which isn't quite as strong, of course, as manual AA. It only gives you 20% increase in AA, but it also gives you a 10% reload uh, on your secondaries. So this build is uh, very, very optimized, you might say, mostly for the secondaries. Um, that's also, of course, the reason why I use double fighter planes instead of spot, or not double fighter planes, but just fighter planes instead of spotting plane. Because when you don't have manual AA, you kind of do want a little bit of help with that uh, in that anti-air department. And you don't want to get completely wrecked by a carrier, so having a fighter plane to call out uh, when a carrier does focus you is very useful. Um, the build itself has, an, I mean, you still go for the very basic things, which is of course preventive maintenance, uh, you follow it up. You, I actually don't get turret traverse until much later, I get adrenaline rush far before turret traverse, and then I go basic firing training into AFT, into manual AA, and then after I have manual AA, then I start, uh, not manual AA, manual secondaries, uh, then I start get, thinking about things like turret traverse and superintendent and such things. Now, of course, that gives you the 10.6 10 10 uh, uh, kilometer range on your secondaries, as you can see here. And I'm honestly trying to focus these guys down fast as quickly as possible. Uh, if you're wondering about the weird name, uh, Bring Back Bastion, I allowed, during a stream, I let my viewers uh, decide what my new name should be, and of course this is what they wanted, because my viewers actually hate me. <laughs> Pensacola, yes they might have buffed the concealment on it, but that still doesn't mean you can sail around giving full broadside on it, and this guy gets deleted quite quickly. Uh, of course, the more damage I take right now, the, more, the faster my secondaries start hammering. But ultimately, I do feel I give a bit too much broadside here because, well, I kind of want to demonstrate the strength of the secondaries. But by doing that, I eat an unnecessary amount of damage from this New Mexico because if I angled a bit more, I could greatly minimize it. It's not really a big deal though because I got fires he can't, on him he can't repair and he's pretty much guaranteed dead. But still. You see that double fire on him already. These secondaries just go ham on battleships. But sadly he's dead, so don't really get too much out of it. Quick kill on him, and I turn in towards the smoked up DDs. I know there's a both both of Buki and the Kiev there, and the Kiev of course has been updated to have 8km torps since it's moved to tier 8, so having Hydra active quite early is worth it. Fubuki, I think he's reversing into his own smoke. I do turn away though, because I only have uh, 35 seconds of hydro left. That's not enough to rush the smoke. So I'm taking a pretty safe approach towards them. Uh, Budionia, Budioni on the minimap, however, is trying to push around this flank. And you can't really do that in a Budioni. The Budioni has great armor as long as you don't get broadside. 
and this guy gives broadside so he instantly gets deleted uh, of course my main gun reload is also greatly affected by adrenaline rush which is of course why both the main guns and the secondaries are reloading so rapidly um, the Bismarck did get nerfed of course they reduced they greatly re reduced the range on the Hydra acoustic search it used to have the German cruiser range but uh, this was a while ago though but this was the big nerf basically to the Bismarck re they reduced the Hydra range uh, to 4.2 km on ships and I think it was a good change because, well, the Bismarck was a bit, I mean, I still think it might still be, well, I don't really know. I don't, I don't consider the Bismarck overpowered, mostly because uh, I don't really have any issues against Bismarcks in Amagi or North Carolina myself. But it's certainly a very strong battleship, absolutely. The biggest mistake people really make when fighting Bismarcks is they allow it to get close. And the Bismarck is horribly outmatched against Amagia, North Carolina, at ranges past 11 kilometers. Past 11 kilometers, um, not only do you have to suffer from German dispersion, but your secondaries don't even kick in at all. Whereas Amagia, North Carolina, can easily nail, nail you with pretty much every single shell at that distance. And the biggest mistake people really do is. Uh, they allow the Bismarck to get close and then they try to brawl and stuff like that and brawling a Bismarck is a good way to get wrecked <laughs> because this thing is extremely good at brawling not just because of the secondaries but add in the hydro and the turtle back and uh, uh, quickly turning turrets and quickly reloading turrets and like all these things and it's, it's just very very strong at any sort of brawling fights I am going to move toward, to, towards B, I do want to keep my turrets turned towards the Kiev in case it does pop up, which it does here. Making sure, does he turn? No, he's not turning anywhere. Once I'm certain he's going to keep his current course, that's when I pull the trigger. And I actually hilariously managed to take that kill as well. This is a pretty short game in that sense, I mean the game is already ending, they only have one ship left that gets killed. And that's already the end of that game. So very, very short one. Uh, considering uh, how short it was, the rewards are pretty good. I mean, Kraken is always nice, Confederate is always nice, but damage-wise, pretty damn low. Uh, looking at base XP, once again, not really that high for six kills. Then again, the enemy team pretty much got steamrolled. And uh, this is why I chose this game. Uh, battle duration 7 minutes and 59 seconds it's not every day you get six kills in less than eight minutes which i thought was pretty amusing anyway let's move on to my recommended build for this ship right as usual i will actually show the build on my main account um because you can see the whole build then bismarck hull you get the hull first for that increased hp and aa defense and mostly because it doesn't really need the other upgrades that desperately. Speed next, followed finally by range. Default range is 9.3 or stock range, so it's not like you'll be lacking range. Uh, once after that, repair, heal, hydro and catapult fighter in that order of priority. You get premium consumables as you can afford them. Uh, catapult fighter instead of spotting aircraft, as I said, you don't use manual AA with this build, so I like having that a uh, small increase in carrier defense that that offers. Upgrade wise, auxiliary armaments mod 1 and secondary battery mod 2. Once again we go secondary build and here worth noting I don't go main battery main armaments mod 1 so I don't have the additional tanky turrets that comes into play later on. Damage control 1 and 2. Now this can be considered a weakness the fact that I go don't go for rudder shift but damage control but I'm very used to playing with this. I enjoy playing with this uh, reduction it gives me. It gives me some additional tankiness at the cost of rudder shift. Um, this might take some getting used to since 16 seconds is a very slow rudder shift but uh, I prefer the additional tankiness it offers and with hydro I don't really consider torps that big of a threat. Finally concealment system. The reason is of course if you don't run concealment system you got like a 16 km uh, concealment which means tier 10 if you get matched up against tier 9 tier 10s uh, these battleships will rain hell upon you and Kultusovs and such and you will take a massive amount of damage just trying to close the distance and ultimately of course uh, you don't really need target acquisition because you have hydro so concealment system is 
by <laughs> order of deduction the most important thing you can get. Captain perks wise, uh, preventive maintenance once again because we got squishy main turrets, adrenaline rush in this order of priority and uh, followed by, because well turrets turn quickly enough, followed by, well actually not superintended but basic firing training first uh, increases your secondary and AA followed by AFT, once you have AFT you get manual secondaries, after you have manual secondaries then you can get superintended followed finally last two points in the turret traverse which once again not that important but it is a nice buff to have and this is of course the 19 point captain on my on the account i just played i didn't have superintendent yet uh because i chose to go for turret traverse since i only had a 16 point captain and i was greedy to spend my points so ultimately this gives you of course the 10.6 km range on the secondaries which is uh and a very fast reload which is affected by adrenaline rush Anyway, this was my Bismarck build. I will return to this ship more in the future since I'll soon have it unlocked on my Russian account and I do have it unlocked on my American account so I should be featuring some more Bismarck games since I know people have been requesting it.